Wasting the time to decide in your mind if you got what it takes for the shine. Yo, don't be wasting the time. Yo, get erased from the line. Yo, lights and the cameras are flashing. Fans on their feet and it's time for some action. Thunder and lightning, they fighting and clashing. High speed chase, racing, keep smashing. L, 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 this is Friday Night Football. Good evening. Welcome to the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois, home of the LFL Chicago Bliss. Tonight, LFL Friday Night Football on MTV2 continues. We're in the Western Conference as the visiting Dallas Desire take on the Chicago Bliss. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom Dora alongside my partner, Sean Salisbury. Sean, what are you looking for tonight? A better performance this week by Dallas than last week. They did not play well, and if they lose this, they go down 0-2, Tommy, and this is a tough place to play and could eliminate themselves early in the season from the playoffs. I'm excited to see the passing game with Linda Brenner in Dallas, but also this new rookie, Stacey Jarrett. They're not just a running team in Chicago now. And let's talk about our keys to the game. Let's start with anti-tank artillery. You better be bringing it. Danielle Hawkins, because you're going to get greeted in the hole there by the tank prior the whole game. you got to stop the run game to uh, beat Chicago. And Dallas New Era triplets, we talked a little bit last week, they can play. They sure can. Candace Mosley, an explosive wide receiver, gets her hands on the ball, can take it to the house every time. Big, physical, and fast. There's Linda Brenner. That's the Peyton Manning of this game. Great leader, Peyton Manning of this league. Strong arm and looks to rebound from what was not a great performance by her. And there she is, Chaley DeSong. She can bring it from Houston, Texas. Adds a weapon to them. And this gives them a formidable triplets that can be very difficult to deal with. And finally, Air Chicago, the Bliss can throw the football. Now, yeah, Tom, we always talk about them running it with the tank, but there's Heather Fur, Fur from Plainfield, Illinois. Very, very good wide receiver. Can catch it and make every play. Stacy Jarrett, the new rookie quarterback, gives them something they're excited about where you can't just key on the run. And then, obviously, there she is, Sarah Swanson, who can catch it, run it. You'll see her try to get her hands on the ball on a regular basis. we got two threesomes on both sides that are pretty good, Tommy. Chicago set to kick off here. My partner Sean Salisbury on Tom Dore. Got a great crowd on hand. What an arena, Sean. Had a little problem last year, right? Well, Tommy, <laughs> in the two games they played here last year, there you see the Western Conference standing. San Diego impressive. Oh, and the LA to both California teams. Hey, you got to talk about the West Coast now. They dominated, but Tommy, beer sales. <laughs> they couldn't keep beer in the house at these two games last year. And that's not the way you want to start if you're Chicago kicking it to the upper deck. It looks like Gary Melrose there, but it's not. <laughs> but Tommy, truth, they sell out. The fans love it. We did our opening game here last year. What a great crowd. Oh, and yeah. they'll be into this one tonight cheering on their Chicago Bliss, who now has a new look passing attack with Stacey Jarrett as opposed to last year when you could key on them and it was all about the run game. The tank, Sasha Pryor, and Saran Dunmore. Remember Dunmore, who was a little scat yep. back, yep. kind of gave it a different look. Well, the tank brings it now. We'll get to them, but it's the offense of the Dallas Desire that must respond with Linda Brenner at quarterback. See if they come out a little more open, a little more loose than they were last week. Brenner loses the snap, and she's just going to fall on it. Now gets up. She's in trouble. Now rolling out to the right side. Heaves it, and it is incomplete. Tommy, I don't know how teams, when they come to a game like this, and the Dallas team, we talked about it last week, and we'll talk about it again this week. They do not look like the same team. No. Linda Brenner, a special talent, but you've had all week to prepare again after your poor game last week. And what do you do? You come out, the center snaps it at your ankles to start the game out. That's not what you want. There you see. This is not the Linda Brenner we know from last year. 2 of 12 last week, trying to get started, and not that feel-good feeling you want when you open up the season or open up this game on the road, and there you see Deborah Poles, a really good linebacker on the other side for Chicago. Brenner under center, handoff, goes along the right side. There's a big hole. She's in Chicago territory, down to about the 22-yard line. Chaley DeJong came along the right side. And that's what means about 11 yards. And if you can't throw it, give it to Chaley DeJong. Now, you're going to see the rules of this. For every four downs, you must throw it twice and run it twice if you get to fourth down for every series. DeJong was a great track and, and played volleyball in high school. Was also a national champion on a women's flag football team. So she's a little bit athletic. She can cheer it, look good, but play good. And she will knock you right to the ground. 
This is Delari Wright. Lori Wright gets inside the 15, down near the 11-yard line. Nice change-up pitch, Tommy. I like the fact that Lorraine Wright comes in there. Everybody's keying on DeJong and Linda Brenner. You must have weapons. When you look at Manning in the NFL or Drew Brees or Tom Brady, there's one thing they have in common aside from the great leadership and poise. They spread the ball around. Right. You get all your weapons involved. Dallas has got to start on this first drive and take it in for the score because a lot of people think low-scoring game because both defenses will hit you. Dallas needs to respond. They were dominant during the regular season oh, last year. Oh, they were year. terrific last Had year. A but, but this hangover from the postseason is carried over to this team. First and 10. Football just outside the 10-yard line. Handoff goes along the right side. She's inside the 10, down near the 5-yard line. That's DeJong with a nice run. This girl is very, very good. Like, remember OJ Simpson used to hold both hands on the, in the exchange, didn't get it up like the normal way? Right. But he take it. There you see again. That's the Lorraine Wright getting it. Two carries now on this drive, so it's not just going to be the DeJong show. Nice job of taking that handoff and getting it into the red zone where now you've got to be alert. If you're Chicago, you think pressure on defense, and if you're Dallas, you alert pressure. Maybe see a draw here, Tommy. Maybe see a little bit of a quick hit screen so you don't get hit in the mouth. I think well, in this I, league they need to pressure more, and I would put pressure on Brenner right off the, right off the bat. And second and four, they've almost got to throw the football here because you don't want to have to throw it third and fourth down. If you don't get it here, you almost have to throw it, I would think. They don't. They run it. Coming around the left side looking for an opening and a great stop. DeJong came around the left side. That's a hell of a football play. Oh, yeah. That's a hell of a football play for a runner who's very, very good in the open field. Great job of keeping your outside arm free by Chicago, and a nice job making the play by Lauren Quinn, keeping her outside arm free. And what I mean by that is being able to shed off a blocker inside and keep and contain and forcing it inside, but making a great open field tackle. Third down. Got to throw the football now. Third and five. She'll fade back, looks, throws. And oh, overthrows Mosley and had it down at her feet. Had Mosley wide open, just needed a little lob pass. I, I'm a big fan of Linda Brenner. You know that, Tommy. Oh, We've talked absolutely. about it, not only yep. on broadcast, yep. but off it. But it's a di not into a rhythm in this early part of the season. Wasn't last week, 2 of 12, wasn't on that one. The Linda Brenner that we know, who gets quarterback lessons and training lessons, a, a tremendous athlete, makes that throw with ease, puts a little touch on it. But now, see, if you're calling plays, whether you're Dallas or Chicago on the offensive side of the ball, you got to almost start to manipulate these things like chess pieces, Tommy. And why right. is right. because now if you're a defense, you say they ran it on the first two downs. You made mention of it, Tommy. Let's validate that. They had to throw on third down. But now for the rules of the league, they must throw on fourth down, which makes it a great defensive advantage. And you got to think they'll look for uh, delayed blitz. And throw it. it is incomplete. Knocked away at the last second. Great goal line stand. Oh, Chicago really with a nice uh, nice shot there in the first group. Try, trying to get Mosley involved, and I understand why. Mosley is their big play receiver for Dallas. But what a great job by Chicago to stiffen down there by the goal line to make sure that now they can get their offense on the field and try to get Tank Pryor running the football. But Linda Brenner tried to throw it into triple coverage, and a nice job by Chicago running that delayed blitz. Well, we can blitz now this year, Tommy, if right, they're, and right. when you get into the red zone, you can see the defensive line closes that have to be two, three yards off the ball. Can Tasha Pryor, the tank, can she gain 100 yards in a game, do you think? No, I don't think there's any question about it. Even with the, the, the minimum of, or the maximum of two plays running the football, and I would milk it till the cows come home. And here she comes. Oh. Look at the shoulder. The tank across the 10 out to about the 12. What a shot. Tasha Pryor says, welcome to Chicago. Folks, that's not just a tank. That's four of them, okay? <laughs> now, Tom, we talked about being physical. There she is from Indianapolis, Indiana. Loves to play 5'10", 140 pounds, and she ain't messing around. She is not messing around. You better bring it. She's played at the highest level of athletic excellence all the time. A lot of regional championships in high school is an all-state basketball player, Tommy. So she's not just a big bruiser. She can also scat back you with her feet. But that's setting the tone early with physical play right off the bat. Jarrett now fades back, looking to throw. Steps up under a little pressure. Throws falling down, and it's intercepted. Picked off to the 10-5 touchdown. And the Bluebirds are already out for a Chicago Bliss team that everybody loves. Now, welcome to the Lingerie Football League, Stacy Jarrett. 
You come in here, stepped into it, but unfortunately the rush was pushed back into her feet. The worst thing for a quarterback is to have people at your feet. You see Jalissa Brown take it to the house for the, excuse me, not Jalissa Brown. I believe that was Kendrika Johnson taking it to the house. We'll talk more about that, Tommy. Six, nothing, Dallas looking for the extra point. When we come back. Finally, a reason to love shopping. Log on to LFLshop.com for your favorite LFL team gear and merchandise. Tommy, great job by Kendrika Johnson sit, uh, sitting down on that. And as a rookie, what happens in all leagues, NFL, college, you stare down your receiver. Not only did Stacey Jarrett, the rookie quarterback, stare down a receiver, but the rush got pushed back into yeah. where she couldn't yeah. step into the throw. And she'll learn from it, as we see here, Tommy, at the two-yard line, you know you're going for, uh, for one point. At the five, you can get two points. We don't kick. Here's Lori Wright, comes along the right side, and the extra point is good. 7-0 Dallas. Dallas had a tough time last week in the second half. Yes, they looked good first half, struggled second half. Now they come out in the first half, and that's a nice little answer. They were in trouble there for a minute, Joe. Lori Wright, three carries on this drive, counting the extra point. And you see that, Tommy, for the one point they get. We don't kick other than the beginning of the game and the beginning of the second half. But, Tommy, come back to that interception with Stacey Jarrett. Remember last year when Ellie Cartabiano was – really right. was a limited right. them what they could do throwing the football. They believe in Stacey Jarrett's arm, but she's young. She's going to make those mistakes. The key is, how does a rookie quarterback respond after an interception for a touchdown? Motion goes to the far side. Jarrett hands to Pryor. Here comes the tank. She's across the 20. She's into Dallas territory. They can't get it out. She's finally down at the 15-yard line. I must tell you, here she is, Tank Pryor. No, there's no mystery what Chicago wants to do, and that's pound you right in your mouth on a regular basis. And this is the best running back in the league to do it. She's physical, after first contact, initial contact, she gets eight, 10, 12 more yards. You have to punish her. This woman, ain't a whole lot of fat on that body. No. She's bringing a load and knocking you out. The Chicago fans love her. She's almost a cult following oh, yeah. in Chicago. And I got news for you. To compare her, this is a Jerome Bettis. The nifty on the feet but can bring it, and that's the ultimate comp you can pay. Bring it hard every single down. And you take a look at that, folks, that body. You want to try to tackle her? Now, guess what? Neither does the other team. <laughs> Neither does the other team, and she's so special at what she does. And then uh, she even admitted that her biggest obstacle was overcoming her weight to play in yeah. this league. Yeah. Keep that weight, girl, because you're bringing it. Oh. Up, oh, little motion, no call. Now it's a direct snap. And here she goes down to the five-yard line. It's a fumble picked up by Dallas. No whistle, Tommy. Was and she down? There's the whistle. Let's see what the story went is. Went wildcat. There she is, Tank Pryor again. Hits it up inside. I saw the marker I think we down. Got, yeah, I think we got a flag. It's but ball coming if it's illegal movement on Chicago, the play was still alive. That'll be Dallas's ball. As our referees. They're talking about Confer that about very it. fact right now. See, they're doing everything, and I like Chicago's game, doing everything they can to get Tasha Pryor into it. And you know what I do, Tommy, if i got to get my throws in? Throw some screens. Oh, absolutely. Get the ball into her hands any way you can. It's going to be Dallas's Illegal ball. Illegal motion on the offense, Chicago. That penalty is declined because the ball was fumbled and recovered by Dallas. It's first and ten, Dallas. What a difference a week makes. Dallas did not play well, struggled last week. They realize that they face possible elimination, Tommy, if they go oh, yeah. over to they got to go to Los Angeles next. They don't want any part of it that. It doesn't get any way, easier. No, it yeah. sure as heck doesn't with the way Los Angeles and their quarterback played early in the season in the opener that we did, Tommy. Linda Brenner's got to show those great leadership skills and get this team going offensively and carry this momentum over with a big lead on the road against a bruising physical Chicago Bliss team. Brenner fades Ooh, nice back, block. looking, steps up, throws, looking long for Spinato, and the pass is overthrown. And incomplete, it'll be second down. Still have not gotten to that rhythm on offense. They just haven't thrown the football. Now, they went down and scored, but it was a defensive touchdown, right, Tommy. An and this team yeah. was built on offense last year. And the thing is, you saw Chicago's game plan. They rushed one. Had three people to block yeah. one, and they're dropping into coverage. Because you know what they think? They think that the only way Dallas beats them is by throwing that football. Right. But we right. saw DeJong, and we saw Lori Wright on the first drive carrying the football. Nice job up front by... LA's pass protection, but they only had to block one, but got to get the passing rhythm if you're the Peyton Manning of this league, which is Linda Brennan. 
Comes around the outside. That's oh, and is she hit hard at the 10-yard line? Look at the gang tackling by the Bliss. Let me tell you, if you think you want to question the commitment to these girls, oh. Tommy, the, the, the DeJong moved from Houston to Dallas to play in this league. Right. Shot Gave up, moved, and that's what, a three and a half, four hour drive. It's regardless, that's called Wanda, the 23 year old, 125 pound, new in this league, but decided she wanted to come be a part of Dallas. This girl can play now, Tommy. Oh, she Flat can play. Flat out play. And I yep. think that if you're Dallas, you want to get her more into the rhythm also. And maybe get Brenner. They're, they're trying to throw the ball down the field. Maybe a few hit screens to get her back into her confident rhythm because they just don't have it on offense so far this season. Fakes a hand up. Now comes along the right side. And what a shot. She got to about the 13-yard line. And we got bodies flying. We got people going down. This is a defensive struggle. <laughs> Look at this. And the talking There's talking back and forth. Tommy, I don't know about your power rankings, but we like to, you know, talk about this. My power rankings after what we've seen after three weeks, both California teams, when I talk about San Diego and L.A., both pretty impressive. Oh, they're really good. Especially judging from how bad San Diego was last year. They 180 what a degree difference. difference. Yep. What a difference. And then just judging from the preseason stats and all the hype, Chicago would have to be high on the power oh, rankings. Oh, they're up there, if You're yeah. talking about the whole league. Dallas trying to end those power rankings on Chicago tonight. Brenner fakes a handoff, fades back, looking, steps up, throws, and it's incomplete again. Just what you're talking about. There's a wide open receiver. That ball wasn't anywhere close. And like Linda works at this so hard. Maybe Tommy working a little too. I mean, maybe her mind's all playing games with her because best play action quarterback in this league. That's another reason why we call her the Peyton Manning of this league. Her throws and results aren't looking like it, but great job protecting the football. Had all the time in the world and threw it into the dirt. Well, it's really artificial turf, Tommy, but we call it dirt yeah. and old school. Speaking of old, well, keep it to me. Yeah. Huh? Let's, like, let's not get you involved in it. <laughs> but she is, she is really a special quarterback, folks. And you're just, this is like that hitter who's out of rhythm or that pitcher who can't throw a strike, but turn the ball over again now. And Chicago's got it in great field position. Handoff goes to Pryor, and the tank is not going to go very far this time. Very well read by Dallas. Four offensive plays for Dallas. Guess who's touched it every time? And Danielle Hawkins right there on the stop of Tasha the Tank Fryer. You and you know what? Even still, how do you go away from a force like that? You, you, don't. Do, you don't. Well, she'll find you if you try to. <laughs> <laughs> she'll find you. Oh, you're talking about the offensive game plan. Yeah. You don't. But she'll also look you up. You talked about Danielle Hawkins, who is, we, we showed him in the, the keys to the game, got to step up and play. She's a full-time student and a trainer. And she has to do it all herself. She doesn't get any help from any of her family to do this and have a job. Tough, tough dedication, but she's a really good football player. Pass goes to the right side, and it's dropped. Tommy, are you noticing a trend this year? Sarah Swanson games we drop. Sarah Swanson and Sarah doesn't drop many of those. That's a that's a big play receiver on that side. Have you noticed in this league this year that the quarterbacks are not in rhythm for the most part yeah. other than our open? Yeah. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Tommy, I love it. We're here in Chicago, and Daniel Hawk, as we mentioned, her linebacker for, for for Chicago, or excuse me, Dallas. And there you see Stacy Jarrett, the quarterback. We'll get back to Daniel Hawkins in a second. This is the rookie quarterback Jarrett, who's over two throwing it. Now she's gonna run it. Oh, Hello. what a tough tackle! Hello. Woo! Hello. Great job, Jarrett, out of the pocket. Over two throwing it. So let's get out of the pocket. Nice job. Nice job on the pass rush to force Jarrett to pull the ball down. You like your tackles? You just got one right there from Danielle Hawkins. Oh, I mean, we, she's we, a star in the making. No, no question about it. And here's a girl volleyball track, but competitive gymnast, and now she's playing inside linebacker in the lingerie football league. Growing up competitive gymnast, but I love the fact that she can still bust a, fa a backflip, she says, at any time. Well, if she gets a touchdown, you may see her bust a backflip. I love the dedication that some of these gals have. Chicago, speaking of which, Neither Fourth passing game has gotten into the rhythm no, yet. Not a lot all. of good tackling in this game so far, Tommy. Another fourth down in Chicago, knocking on the door here, but they need to get something going. That Stacy Jarrett was in the backfield too. There at quarterback in the gun. Fakes a handoff, looking down the field, steps up, throws, and this one's picked off. That's Mosley who's got it, and she's hit hard. Two interceptions now by Dallas. As Chicago's tried a couple long passes, and Dallas has gotten them both. Well, people are saying, could you bring back Ellie Cartabiano from last year, the quarterback? But no, they believe in Stacy, and they think that she can get it done. But Jarrett stares it down. And Tommy, why these are both major, major interceptions? She threw one-on-one -on -one in for a touchdown. She throws another in 
40, 14 points given away because you had a chance to score there. Oh, yeah. A red zone interception and no-no. I'm anxious to see, will Stacy be able to respond and be able to come back from really, really tough, uh, tough play and bad play here to start out? Got to get rid of those rookie jitters. A lot of us have had them, Tommy. And a lot of us, and, and sometimes it keeps going downhill. You got to put a stop to it immediately yeah, yeah. and get back into rhythm and get She needs back. a completion. Brenner needs a completion. And she's going to try and throw it here. Looking up the field, steps up, throws, and it's caught. Great pass. Mosley's got it at midfield, and she is down in Chicago territory. Oh, yeah. First down, Dallas. Now there's there's the Mosley reception, and there's the Linda Brenner. We know. Yeah. Throws a shot. Great job by the offensive line protecting. And we, you know, people rarely give the big fellas or the big in the NFL or the big gals here the offensive linemen. So when I say big, I'm talking about being able to be physical and knock it out. You allow that to happen, Brenner to sit back there and throw it. She's going to find Mosley. Mosley is big, physical, a Larry Fitzgerald type player in this league. When the ball's near her, she'll make a catch. Brenner fades back again, steps up, throws. DeJong's got it. She stopped immediately. But DeJong inside the 20 to about the 18 yard line, and Dallas is marching down the field. Tommy, let's dial, let's, uh, let's dial us up as uh, defensive coordinators here. You know how I feel about pressure. Right. We're gonna see, you're gonna see games this year when you watch Rex Ryan or the Jets or the Baltimore Ravens or people that like to pressure. No quarterback likes to have people at their feet, at their, at their feet, at their body. Last two plays, all, Brenner sitting back there for all day long. Oh, yeah, got I like to see chair, more yeah. pressure and force interceptions and tip balls. Good job by Brenner getting into a rhythm. Handoff in motion comes along the right side. She's inside the 15, down to about the 13 yard line. Is that Spinato? Did Spinato I think it was, again? yeah. Yeah, Spinato got about five it. yards. It's not just about Mosley Mosley in this game as far as a wide receiver. This is a four year scholarship volleyball player, Tom. So a lot of these girls with mad hops can get up and can play. They didn't just fall off the last turnip truck and land in the Lingerie Football League. There's a lot of changes on both these teams. Chicago, major changes in coach. Oh, absolutely. Major yep. changes on their roster at quarterback. I mean, when you get rid of your uh, coach and a quarterback, you got to do a lot of things starting over. But the foundation is there on, on uh, Chicago and with Brenner, the foundation for Dallas also. Brenner fakes the handoff, goes along the left side. What a tackle. Oh, man. DeJong came along the left Heather side Furr, and got hammered. We, we talked about her offensively in the open, Tommy, but what about defense? Now take a look, NFL players. That's how you finish and close in and use your body to get into the, to the runner and wrap up and knock the crap out of somebody, and that's exactly <laughs> what Heather Furr did. Familiar, look at that, 5'7", 135 pounds, bringing noise, coming from her secondary position and putting it on DeJong in the backfield. That is a big help when you don't have to rely on three or four other players to come up and make the hit. Nice job by the secondary player. And when your corners are physical, Tommy, or your secondary people are physical, it makes the rest of the defense oh, a lot I easier. Bet. I bet. Second 14 now. Brenner looks out over the defense, fakes a handoff. She's very good at that, very deceptive. Throws and it's incomplete. Best in the league at hiding that off play action. The results haven't been what, we've, what we're used to from Linda Brenner. But like I said, this team, Tommy and I have studied them and watched them for two weeks now, as opposed to early last season. It's a different team. But here we are with a 7 0 lead. And this looks to me, Tommy, even though they're playing, it's like on an electric football set, part of the way up the field, not quite getting in. You know when the guys start right, to spin around right, and offensively, right, right, they can't right, score? Yeah. Well, defense has stepped their game up on both sides of the ball. Interceptions and tackles. Dallas trying to get in the red zone. Run here or throw on third down. They can do either one. Look how far back they're dropped. Wish he yep. had an audible system. Hand it off and run it or run a quarterback draw. Pass and it's all oh, caught and dropped. Mosley had it in her hands but couldn't hang on. Take a snapshot of that. That won't happen very often. No. It won't happen. A great, great, nice timing throw by Linda Brenner. Chicago getting ready to unload on Mosley. And you've got to make those catches in traffic down there near the goal line. Anybody can make the catch in the open field. You got to make it down there where everything starts to compress down. And that's exactly what happened on that one. She couldn't hold on. All right, Dallas is driving. It's fourth down. We'll take a break. This is Friday Night Football. You sweating like crazy, big fella. What do you think? You like this defensive <laughs> stuff, oh, don't I you? I love this. Yeah. Absolutely. Smash mouth football. And I, I still go back to some of these gals and the obstacles they overcome. Folks, they ain't making Peyton Manning money. No. They're getting paid. No. They, they, they do this because they love it, 
And they're getting paid, but they got jobs and kids and the rest of it, and crazy husbands like the rest of them <laughs> trying to deal with it. Brenner fades back, got some pressure, rolls out, threw off of her back foot, and it's incomplete. She got pressure there and had to throw off of that back foot. See the difference how mechanics change, Tommy? Mechanics start to change, and Linda Brenner, like I said, she's a star in this league, an all-fantasy quarterback that can, can do it all. And in talking to her, remember last year at a Mavericks game, talking, the passion is there. I mean, they can throw on a dress and pumps with the best of them, but don't kid yourself. This is serious business, and they Thank love playing. Play. And she's focused, and I met her brother last year. And I mean, th this is football. They love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But no quarterback likes that. Pressure, moving you around. Where you can't set your feet, throwing off your back foot. And unless you're Brett Favre, and even when he does it, Every now and then, the ball comes high, and you make a mistake, and Chicago's got it down. Wildcat, here comes Pryor. Hit hard. She still falls forward out near the 20-yard line. Was that Hawkins again on the tackle? This is they're going to be back and forth. This is this is Jim Brown, <laughs> Ray Nitschke, Jim Brown. You know, the, the, the middle linebackers also great. The dick butt kisses of the world. Butt, there you, there go. you go. The dick butt kisses where you're going in there, you're going to bring it, and they're going to go helmet to helmet, knock you out, and bring it. But you've got to bring it when you're tackling the tank Pryor because this is a special player. And Tommy, you can't argue with me about who the best running back in this league has oh, been for two years, no can doubt. you? There's no doubt. When the tank gets it, she's a, she's a beast. And here she comes, lowers that shoulder. She's out near the first down mark. She, she doesn't just look for contact. She anticipates it, and she goes after contact. People always ask her, too, if she's, if she's related to Richard Pryor. And she says, no, but her dad, she says, has a striking, bears oh, really? a resemblance okay, to him. Yeah. But I got news for you, sweetie. Richard ain't running like that, but he <laughs> <laughs> never carried a football like that. Penalty and Dallas knows Chicago. that they had to come up and bring it. When you, when you, this is one of those, Tommy, I can remember one of my great offensive tackles, Gary Zimmerman, who's a Hall of Famer oh, sure, from yeah. Minnesota. Whenever we'd have to play Reggie White and as good as Zim was, you know, the beads of sweat, the guys on the team would give our all week long, beads of sweat poured down saying, and this is a Hall of Famer. Oh, right. God rest right. Reggie White, so I got to block him. It's the same way. When you got to play tank prior, you're thinking, this is yeah. not a good week to yeah. eat, or I better eat a lot yeah. or something. Go yeah, go yeah. exactly. And go it's ahead. understandable because I want no part of it either. Trips to the right situation. side, yep. looking long, steps up, throws, and throws a strike to Heather Furr. She's inside the 15, down to about the 13th. Big first down for Chicago and a big completion for Jarrett. Now that's exactly why this 21-year-old rookie, Stacy Jarrett, is big on in, in Chicago's thought process and why people in Chicago should be excited. This is not just a running team now. You see her stand in there, Tommy, and deliver that football. We talked about the cannon for the arm. Just had to get her accuracy and rhythm and confidence going. Now, I like it. That's a 21-year-old gutsy person says, you know what? Screw it. I threw two interceptions. I'm about to bounce back. Boy, does it make them scary when she can throw it like that. And in the Wildcat again with Pryor. Here she goes, rolling around the right side, trying to get away from one, does, and falls forward down near the 10-yard line. You think you got her? Think again. Yes, but nice job by Dallas, Tommy, of making sure you force her back in to help, but that you don't let her get ahead of steam. You make her go, you see how she couldn't get her shoulders turned? You kind of force her towards the sideline, and then you pound her and, and beg for your girlfriends to come help you out and knock All them out. Of them. And All that's exactly of them. right. There, there is an ice tank waiting to happen when the game's over for all the Dallas desire. And as many times as Tank Pryor touches it, she'll need a nice bucket too. Tanya, it's, it's, it's amazing, it's amazing. She, yeah, she is just incredible, her strength. And she is, uh, she's tough. She can flat play, she can rush the passer. Yep. She's, uh, she's very talented. As we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, see that beer that they're pouring right there, Thomas? Yes, yes. I know you'd like one of those cold ones. They run out of it really quick in Chicago because there's a lot of drinking. Those passionate, <laughs> passionate fans was the, uh, the Lingerie Football League opener last year, had a great crowd. And you know, Dallas at 0-1, Tommy, let's talk about the big picture. They got LA next. Dallas at 0-1, don't win this football game. They go to 0-2, it's hard to come back from. It really hard. is. Yeah. And, and, and you know, you got Chicago, but if they can win this football game, they got to go to Seattle. And Seattle's a good football team. Oh, yeah, so we saw that. You're, you're, you're dealing with these are very, very important games for these teams. Motion goes to the far side, now stops. It's a pitch to Pryor. She gets bangs off a of one, still going, and finally gets a little help, and she's down at the 10. Danielle Hawkins wired up, mic'd up, and ready to go. How about that? See, we talked, Tommy, it was going to be Hawkins on defense, prior running the football. 
And you really kill in the clock. Nice job by Chicago. That's clock management, which we've missed a couple times oh, in the yeah. first two oh, weeks. Yeah. I mean, let me, has anybody other, the quarterback's got to touch it, Stacey Jarrett. Other than the completion from Jarrett down the field on this drive, has anybody touched the ball on Chicago's team other than prior? No. With other than the reason. quarterback, prior and one and, catch and down and the one field. one catch down the field. Nobody in this first half with 16 I'm seconds to go has touched the football other than that gal and the one completion elsewhere. Obviously, your quarterback's got to touch it. And most of those have been coming on the Wildcat from prior, too. You think Chicago knows who their weapon is? And so does everybody else, but it's like the old Green Bay Packers. You know we're going to sweep. Stop it. Jerry Kramer. You stop it. Jimmy Taylor. Yep. We're it. coming. You stop That's it. That's exactly right. Here comes Chicago. Fourth and eight. Jarrett fades back, steps up, throws, and that one was almost picked off. Got to protect in the red zone, Stacy. Got to protect in the red zone. Rookie quarterback, but she's bounced back with a couple, you know, with a nice throw down the field on this drive. Now come away with this. You got to get some points here. Take your chances in the end zone. Use the time. You, you grounded the ball. I think they used the timeout already, Tommy. Take your shots. Try to get this momentum with some. Well, I take it back. That was fourth yeah, down. That wasn't was fourth it? down. For yep. some reason, I thought it was third down. I, I stand corrected. That was so. If that's the case, you got to take a shot at the end zone. Take a shot at the end zone. For some reason, I thought that was third down. Fourth down. If you're Dallas, throw the ball deep into the end zone. Take a you shot. You got no time Take a shot. Left, so you got to stop the clock. Throw it to Mosley. Throw it up there high. Brenner thinks going to do just that, and it is caught. Mosley's got it down at about the 16-yard line with four seconds to go. And the clock has stopped. Great job by Brenner. See how effective she is, Tommy. Just enough air. Nice comeback route on the outside by their best receiver, Mosley. Giving her a chance. Obviously, Chicago getting way deep. They didn't want a big play over their heads for a touchdown. Four seconds to go. Nice job by Brenner. What they did there, smart play. We said, throw it, and Brenner could throw it to the end zone. Absolutely. But they were able to cut the field in half by doing this. And they're lining up quickly to see if they can get a playoff. Clock running. There you go. Spike the ball with two seconds to go. Great job by the coaching staff of Dallas to make sure that this football team gets a chance, chance to throw it. And unlike Chicago, when they had to take a shot at the end zone on fourth down, which uh, I what thought it was third down, down, now you come back. If you're Dallas, take a shot at the end zone. Don't risk the run and catch and get down to the one. Put it in the end zone. Put three receivers to one side. Here they go. And throw That's it up it. there. Keep it, in, keep it in play and let Mosley have a chance to go up and get it. And now it goes That's over her head. Want. She's back at the 15, picks it up. Why are they stopping? Hey. I don't know. Is the play in play still? And now Brenner's upset. I don't think Brenner realized that the whistle had not sounded. Ball, ball snapped over your head. The play's still in play. Absolutely. It's not that's, an extra a, point. that's a live ball. Reminds me of the Dallas Cowboys a little bit, the way that they performed on Sunday, beating themselves. 7-0 at half. Dallas with the lead over Chicago. Part of our halftime festivities coming up. I'm gonna shake that first half off to, to the new, you haven't been there before, all right? That excuse is out the window. I just told my defense, if we play disciplined football, sustain our blocks on offense, ball security on offense, and we play physical and dictate the line of scrimmage and play the way we want to go, defense we play in their backfield, offense we knock them into the secondary, all right? We do everything right and they beat us, I have to live with that. That didn't happen in the first half, we gave them when we forced their hand and made them panic, good things happened for us, right? I like Matt. a little left bomb oh, by my coach every now and again. Matt you Sinclair. go, Matt. There. there you go. Laying it on the line. Former Washington Redskin played at Illinois. Linebacker. Here's a highlight, Sean. Yeah, first half highlights. Some good and some bad and some really ugly. Nice pressure. Rookie Stacy Jarrett throws the interception. Oh, Kendry Johnson, excuse me, Kendry. Yeah, Johnson gets into the end zone for the interception. And that started the scoring and then you're being in the tank prior, great job of hitting the hole, stretching the hole, and then pounding it, cut back. Takes a lot of bodies to bring her down, and Chicago did that a lot other than Fur catching a ball. That was what their offense was all about. And then the second interception going in, the rookie Stacy Jarrett, how would she respond? Well, you think right there, maybe not very good. She actually started to pick up the tempo, no pass rush. A lot of hitting going on in the first half on defense. Defensive-oriented game, you see that there. Again, Jarrett now gonna sidestep. Now watch this, this is why they brought her in here. The rookie with a great throw to another her partner, Heather Fur with the catch there, moving it down the field. The only completion by them in the half, and then Tommy, got to come out and keep this momentum going. More offense on both teams. Very nice. Here's our stats. 
Dallas a little bit more yardage, uh, but Chicago ran it very well for 45 yards. Four Dallas first downs, just one for the Bills. L, L, L. This is Friday Night Football. Back here in Chicago, the Bliss fans are making noise. Chicago will receive here, down 7 0. And showed some life offensively, but just couldn't get uh, get it going in the red zone. You, you know they can run it, Tommy. You know they can run it. I think Stacy Jarrett going to try to pick up the tempo a little throw. And you saw that the, the, the pass to Fur, which was really, really nice. To get her a little bit of confidence going. Dallas still not explosive on offense. Neither team. It's Pryor against that defense. Who's going to respond offensively here in second? Kickoff bounces. Picked up about the seven-yard line. Across the 10, out to maybe the 14 or so. And they, uh, Shannon Renee there with it. And Chicago will have it. And you know what's coming now. Pretty obvious to see who the defensive leader for the oh, Dallas yeah, Desire is. Absolutely. Danielle Hawkins. She can bring it. She doesn't mess around. And she loves, loves to play. Love volleyball, track, won the national champion at cheerleading nationals and cheer athletics. Also, a gymnast growing up, and now she's knocking the hell out of <laughs> offensive players <laughs> on the other side. I love it. This is Chicago. First series of the second half is the most important going on, other than your last two-minute drive, to set the tempo. The it's the beginning. It's the beginning of the second half. And then this. You have got to come out after a very, very subpar first half, moving the football, no points for Chicago on either side. We are going to reset that clock. Official trying to, uh, I thought he was trying to get the crowd pumped up. Yeah, there you go. Raise the roof. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, there's enough people in there to raise it. All right, guess who's in the Wildcat? The tank. Tasha Pryor gets it. Here she goes, right up the middle. Look at her go. She's still on her feet. She's to the 20. Fights down to about the 16-yard line. The tank is rumbling up the field. Just have a look. You don't even need to hear me say anything. Great vision, Tommy. You see how her vision's always up the yeah. field? She's not staring down at the ground wondering if a golfer's gonna jump out of the turf and tackle her. She's looking for holes and for vision. If she can't find a hole, she's gonna make one. Oh, and then she can break it down. I feel you. But she can also da she can all go dance it. She even said that her biggest obstacle in this league was overcoming her weight. With right. a 5'10", 140 pounds at the age of 30, she's running like she's about 18 years old, and there doesn't look like there's a problem with that body or weight now. Tommy, she's bringing it. Folks, you have never seen anything like this as far as the distribution on offense. Three players on Chicago have touched it. Stacy yeah. Jarrett, the quarterback, Heather Fur, the wide receiver, and this girl, about 98% of the snaps. Bad snap, and now she's just going to fall down. It's inexcusable, and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's quite frankly, That's it is, Tommy, and it drives coaches nuts. Drive players nuts. You don't have anybody right over the top of you. You're not like a, there's no immediate threat going to hit you in the mouth like there is in the NFL. Get the ball back to your quarterback, or in that case, your Wildcat quarterback, Natasha Pryor. Yes, they got to throw. So Dallas Desire is teaching them, got to throw there. And good job alerting your people. And there's one of six for Stacy Jarrett. Nice job by the Dallas staff allowing them to know that they've got to throw the football here so you can D it up. Fades back, looks, and throws right to Pryor. And Pryor's going to get down near the 15 yard line. And just what you talked about earlier, let her get a little confidence. Yep. Who should you throw the ball to? Keep throwing it to your best player. Hitch screens, little screen out of the backfield, short pass game to get into a rhythm. You're a rookie. You're nervous. You're at home in front of your home crowd. You're the new quarterback. Tommy, I was going to make a point, and you and I both know this. We spent some time with the Dallas coaching staff last right. year. Right. Really, really good. Really oh, good yeah. coaching oh, staff. Yeah. Focused. Have played and you saw there, understand the paths. Great job by the Dallas coaching staff of studying your keys and saying they're going to throw the ball. That's exactly what they did now in this bunch situation here on third and 11. Trips to the left. Jared will fade back, looking, steps up, throws, and it's caught and dropped inside the 10. Incomplete pass. And it's fourth down. Great throw. You can't blame that on Jared. That ball was put right on the money. Hit her in a bad spot between the, the, between the jersey numbers. Got to finish that one out. I, I, I'm, in, I'm impressed with this girl's arm. Stacey Jarrett can throw it. Doesn't throw it like a rookie as far as velocity. Got plenty on it. That ball was perfect accuracy-wise. And if you're going to move the chains, we don't have a lot of plays for fourth and 11 in the playbook time. No. Got, don't have any for third and 11. And we'll see. Tank Pryor might want to get this football. Jarrett fades back. Look at the rush. Now she's got time and she's going to run. She's in trouble. 
Got no chance. That's one thing with Dallas's team speed. Love them. You're going to have a tough time coming out of the pocket and gaining a lot of yards. They do a good job, too. And when you see this discipline, they're well coached, Tom. They are well coached because, you know, they don't. you're rarely going to break contain on them. Yeah, they do a right, good job of swarming right. to the football. Now, offensively, they haven't gotten to the rhythm this season that they had last year. But I'm impressed with the way Hawkins runs. I'm impressed with the way that their keys and understanding. They know who's going to touch the football. Right. And they're doing right. a good job of swarming to it and trying to make things happen. Okay, other side now. Dallas with Linda Brenner. Struggle a little bit. Has come back a little yep. bit. But Deshaun Brenner and, and Mosley got to get going. That's it. There you go. That's, that's, that's just that's where I was offense. going. Got to yep. get going. Brenner. Handoff, a double handoff, the reverse. She'll come along the left side and got some room. And she's out near midfield where she's finally stopped in the side. Board. Now, see, I like that. Coming out doing stuff. There's Mosley. We say put the ball in your best player's hands, and you did. You go with the double reverse. You had the momentum in a team that pursues really good and very well, right, Tommy. Right. Down, the, the Chicago likes to chase and chase. So what you do, that's great game planning and keys by Dallas's coaching staff knowing, hey, We'll send them going one way. They've been pursuing really well. Let's get their momentum going one way. And bam, hit them with the reverse in Mosley. I like that. These type of things change momentum to a football game. Brenner. Hand off. Love the cross buck action. DeJong has it out near the 20-yard line. And look at this. After every play, we got people talking and pushing and shoving. Was that Deborah Poles on the tackle, Tommy? We haven't called her name out. She's a veteran in this league. Coming up and making the hit. And wrapping up. And let's not forget Julie, Matt's. Hey, hey. Go, Matt. Go, easy, hey. There's our Mike wired yeah, up with Danielle right, Hawkins. Right. Yeah, fortunately, when I was talking, she wasn't saying anything, but she got it all in then. And I like the fact that uh, we get to hear her, but great, great motivation on that. But you see both, and now uh, Chicago's team, Matt Sinclair played some pretty good defense at the University of Illinois. Right. Both these teams, there's a reason why it's only seven to nothing. And we got a defensive touchdown because both staffs have their team prepared. But it comes down to execution of players, and they're not doing it well enough yet on both sides of the offensive ball. Brenner fades back, one step drop, and it is incomplete. Looking for Mosley and threw into some traffic that time. But she's figuring, I got to keep getting the ball to my best. Who do I trust to catch the ball? But Tommy, doesn't there come a point in time? You're exactly right. Does there come a point in time? We'll hit this in just a second. I want to make this point and see how you feel about it. We'll be right back. Tommy, all quarterbacks get into a point where there's a security blanket. Right. We all have them. Troy Aikman had it with, with well, with a lot of players on his yeah, team. Right. But you lean on a Jay Novacek. If you're in Arizona, Kurt Warner, Larry Fitzgerald. I mean, you go Peyton Manning with Marvin Harrison all those years. Guys you trust. Right. But there also comes a point in time when you can overdo it. And maybe Mosley was getting double and triple team and another bad snap by the Dallas center and putting Linda Brenner in position. Unforced errors. If this is a tennis match, it's 6-2, 6-2, 6, -2, 6, -2, 6 -2. But Dallas is still winning because of the defensive yeah, exactly, touchdown. Exactly, exactly. But you got to give your team a chance. Now, that had nothing to do with coaching, that had nothing to do with anything but execution. You can't be snapping balls over the head. You got to give it a chance. That's the second time when Dallas has been driving, the ball's been snapped over the head. No wonder now, it's a defensive struggle. Here's a problem for Dallas. Not only is it fourth and 25, football's at the 11 yard line. If Chicago gets it, they're knocking on the door. You got to change field position a little, and we don't punt in this league. Got guts in this league, we don't punt. Pressure on Brenner to make a play. Brenner fades back, looking long. She's going for it all, and it is way overthrown. Ends up in the stands and incomplete, and Chicago has got it in great position right now. This is a, Tommy, in the first half, we had nobody had converted on either team on fourth down, and the trend continues. Man, is that a field position killer for a Dallas defense. Now you put your defense in a major bind. They've played spectacular football on defense. Now that's short field, I mean, goodness gracious, you hand it off a couple times to Pryor, I get my 10 yards. And you know what they're going to do. Yes. I know what they're going to do. Stop and it. Dallas knows what they're going to do right, right now on these next couple plays. It's, why, why, what do I say every week? First down's most important down yeah, football. Yeah, absolutely. And Dallas put themselves in a bind now in a fourth down. They had to turn it over. 11-yard line. Here she Shocker. comes. Shocker. The tank gets to the five, bounces off her touchdown. Tasha the tank prior came around the right side, broke one tackle, and then slides in for the touchdown. 
Like that dance afterwards, too? There's a lot of them. Great time. Right, they are having a blast and getting after it. Nobody in the building thought anything different. Give it to the tank. They've done it. Danielle Hawkins and the rest. But there's the tackle you must make if you're Dallas. I think that was Tammy Kruger. You're coming up. But there's a mismatch, Tommy. 140 against 120 pounds. 5'5 five, five against about 5'7, five, 5'8. Five, Pryor's going to win that most of the time, unless the other one's name is Danielle Hawkins, who will knock you out, too. But now you see Chicago going to go for the one because the ball's placed on the two-yard line. If we place it on the five, that's worth two points. That might be your favorite rule. I love it. You know why? Because the two yards is a huge difference down Absolutely. here. Absolutely. And the people at home are saying, well, wait a minute, why the two sometimes, why the five? Just to let you know, further back it goes, the more points you get for it. One or two, and they're going for the one. In the Wildcat, it's Pryor. Here she comes around the right side, gets through one. Still fighting. She gets near the goal line, and she's in. The extra point is good. She worked a heck of a lot harder for that one point than she did for the six. She sure did. Kendry Johnson had a chance to make a play in the backfield. We've seen, oh, now they're going to break it down. What are they, a little cabbage patch? And they must they spend more time on those dances than they do on <laughs> play calling. But they should be celebrating. Great job. She's got her partner in crime there celebrating, but a nice job. A tank prior. Remember what I said, Tommy, in this game about initial contact, and then she's able to bounce off those oh, yeah. initial yeah. contact. Know, very rarely does the first person bring her down. Hawkins has done it a few times, but you see Kendry Johnson had a chance in the backfield, number nine for Dallas. It's just a mismatch when you're bringing that load. That lower body strength that she has is just almost unmatched in this league. Oh. From what we've seen. Now there's some rookies in the East we haven't seen, but from what we've seen in the West. Two years I haven't seen any better. No. Mm -mm. No. And Dunmore, Dunmore last year was yes. right there. She was terrific. And a Chicago. teammate at that. Yep. Handoff goes right up the middle. And getting a couple. Terrific tackle on the play. Deborah Poles delivering some wood on that one. We made a point, Tommy, about her before we came on the broadcast about how good she is. You talk about some lower body strength also. Deborah Poles may be as good a tackler as there is in this league open field tackle. We've seen her two or three times now on unassisted tackles. At the end of this week, when you go and say, okay, who's the Lingerie Football League's Defensive Player of the Week? You could throw her name on there because she's made some tackles, as has Hawkins, on the other side for Dallas. It's a favorite it's, play for Dallas right there, that cross buck action. Yep. To Alyssa Brown going nowhere. How about Chicago? They are just allowing Dallas nothing right now. Yeah, Lori Wright trying to get in there, but they're making tackles, and you can't you're putting yourself in these long yardage situations because you can't get into a rhythm throwing it. Now, you got to step up and go the, the length of the field. Momentum is definitely switched here, Tommy. We knew would, there's a good chance it would be a defensive struggle going into the game, did we not? Oh, absolutely. Rookie quarterback on one and I side. I tell you, another rookie for Chicago, offense, yep. Yashi Rice, number 10, has come on and played very well. Rice on that defensive line. There she is on the left side, and here she Ooh, comes. Great hands by Brenner. Throw is complete. Across the 20, and she's very close to the first down. We'll have to see where they mark it. That is very, very smart football. Great hands by Linda Brenner. Realize she can't get it down the field. Check it down. Little, just a little push pass right there. Nice job giving it to da Danielle Hawkins, who's been making plays on the defensive side of the ball, but just a little half shovel, half shot put, and that's a smart heads-up play by a quarterback. A lot of times you panic, try to throw it down the field. Take it easy, beat it out. Get it out, Austin. Check it down. Put yourself down. Danielle the Moyne to get the first with down. the tackle. She started the first time we at called safety. her name. Yep. Yep. And now she's moved up the corner. One of the faces of this league, and there's a oh, lot of yeah. reasons why, Tommy. Right. <laughs> she can run, she can play, and she's not hard, not hard on the eyes, but she loves her football, too. I know you spent a lot of time talking oh, yeah, to her about absolutely. how much she loves this game. Fourth and a yard. Brenner fades back. Got a throw, and it is caught first down. Very nice. Big pass and catch. Really, really nice job by Linda Brenner. Trying to get this team back into a rhythm. Nice job. That's uh, DeJong out of the yep. backfield. When in doubt, there's nothing wrong with checking that ball down. Short yardage. People say, well, why'd they throw? Well, you have to. You've got to throw, throw two, twice. Two, two, out of, two downs of the series, you must throw out of the four downs. Now, if you get a first down on the first play, then you're right back to a new set of four yeah. downs, and it's the same thing. I like Brenner's patience on this drive and making things happen. Seven all. There's Mosley. Motion and Brenner again has to go back and get it. Now they're in trouble trying for a reverse and there's nowhere to hide. The Chicago defense read that very well. Well, that's three or four. That's the fourth time we've had a bad snap. Another great job by Brenner in her hands to catch the football. This looks like the University of Florida. The first Ooh, week yeah, of the season right, for about right. 22 times the center quarterback exchange in the gun. 
and that just disrupts the rhythm of the play. And you say, well, come on, and I know she's doing her best. The problem is, when well, you've got the defensive line so far removed, there's no immediate threat, Tommy. Put your head between your legs and look back at the quarterback if that's what you got to do. And get it that Deliver promote, that football. Without the football, you can't make a play. Yep. Get your quarterback the ball so she can do what and she this, does. And this is an ex-quarterback talking about Yes, it is. Too. Put the ball in our hands. <laughs> Brenner got all day. Throws, and it's incomplete. Nice job defensively, and Chicago just looks terrific right now. Back here in the Windy City, Dallas with the football at their own 23-yard line. And they got a little work to do. It's third down and 15 yards to go, Sean. You've called that a lot. A lot of poor snaps, a lot third of poor long, execution, yep. a lot of third and longs in this football game, but it's two down territory because we go for it on fourth down in this league. And there's a motion. Penalty against Dallas, now third and 15. Can't do it. Third and 20. That's Angela Hansen. Tight end. Offense, I know she trains hard Five for this and loves penalty. it, but you just get winning down. If you can't hear it, it's a loud crowd here in Chicago. You gotta watch football, Tom. You just yeah. got, there's so many unforced errors in this by the Dow. And, and like I said, they're still in the game, thank goodness for their defense. But the poor execution has put them in a bind now. It's third and 20. Uh, guess what? Good luck. And they're gonna run it. Daniel Hawkins lost it, now picks it up and gains some ground. But uh, it's gonna be Chicago ball. I think Danielle met doo doo. No. <laughs> <laughs> and that play actually did look like exactly how Danielle yeah, Hawkins right, described right. it. Tommy, I, 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 and I know I try to emphasize this, but I am so. I sat there and watched the Dallas team last year that I was like, man. Quickness, every brevity, every execution. Tommy, I've seen more mistakes in two weeks by the Dallas Desire. Yeah. And I have in all last year. Yes, sir. All last year. And I don't know what it is because they're well coached. They've been disciplined in the past. They've got one hell of a quarterback, a trio of DeJong and point running back Mosley. Their defense, Hawkins, will hit you. They just haven't found it yet. Maybe it's because the opponent's pretty good, too. Yeah, fourth and 15. Brenner fades back. Got all day. Steps up, throws, and it's incomplete. Had two receivers right together, and it's going to be Chicago ball with 5.58 left. Aside from Tank Pryor on offense for the Chicago Bliss, have you seen a more, a, a worse offensive performance on both sides of the ball for both no. teams, Tom? No. Or for, maybe not. It's not we can't, maybe can't it's great it, defense. Great defense. That's exactly right. That's what I was trying to get at. And it's just the execution, and you can't operate in long yarded situations. And Dallas should have this game in control because of the way their defense played. It's field position that's killing the desire. Hand off. Here comes Pryor. The tank gets away from one, two arm tackles. She just keeps motoring along inside the 10 to the 9. Every time we look up, number two in the white is in on a tackle, and number 20 in the orange is running the football and touching it. And if you're if you're the Chicago Bliss, you keep running it until they make you stop and keep getting first down. Stacy Jarrett, the rookie quarterback, only had to throw a couple times in this game. You line up in the Wildcat, which is exactly what they're doing now, which means Pryor's going to run the football and probably run it right. Here she comes, just as you called. Look at her go. She's down near the five, still going. She's like the Energizer Bunny inside the five to about the four. I can sure as heck tell you the Energizer Bunny ain't, Energizer Bunny ain't got legs like that. <laughs> okay. Got an injury on the field, and that's the punishment. I don't know if it's cramps. We don't want to speculate, but that's the punishment that you get this, this, this running game and this physical attack for Chicago. Tommy, we got a big game next week too, don't we? Oh, absolutely. Baltimore at Philly next week. And uh, Baltimore, a very physical team. They're going to be fun to watch. Yeah, Ty, and you know what's interesting is that uh, their former quarterback, their, their New Jersey's former quarterback, is headed up, now is in Baltimore, yeah. got a chance to play against Philadelphia. So it should be interesting. A lot of these people will relocate, these girls will relocate to get where they can get to Just play, to play football. football. And then right. Tampa's at Orlando. We're going east the next couple weeks. And I tell you, that Tampa-Orlando game could be a real fight. All right, Chicago with it. Second down. Jarrett fades back, looking into the end zone. Throws it. It's caught. Touchdown. Great job of changing up now. Yep, take that bow, young lady. Uh-huh. You're a rookie. Don't bow too many times. 
Nice job, though, with the throw. Great read. So Chicago could celebrate with the best of them. Deborah Foles there on the reception. The middle linebacker comes in, catches it, and scores. You know that's called? Let me reward you for the way you played on defense. You, you protect me again, a little there bit offensive line, too. There I'll do something for you. I'm, I'm really impressed. Great job. Everybody, what do you think everybody thought they were going to do, Tommy? You know they thought they were going to run the ball with Pryor. So what do you do? A little change up pitch and hit poles right there. A little stop route right down there at the goal line. Chicago has really adopted this team. Field position. Yes, it's all oh, the fans. Oh, oh no question, yeah. Tom. No question about it. Field position has killed Dallas. They've given the ball away too easy. Motion. Pitch to Pryor. Here she comes along the left side. Gets away from one. Gets away from a second. And the tank rumbles in for the touchdown. Best player in the league. I'm just telling you. What should I say? The most dominant most player. Most dominant. Yeah. Yep. They, they, they may be better athletes. That's there the most she dominant goes. player. Watch this. Week. Watch this. Halftime. The most muscular pose. And the crowd of players all around her. They love their star. And you know what happens if, in fact, uh, they don't do that? They get the ass kicked by her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are they fun to watch? And this is a style that the city of Chicago would love. Well, does it remind you of Ditka yeah. and Walter Payton and Jim McMahon and Dan Hampton? Dan and Hampton, you, you and Doug, absolutely. You, you, Plank, Doug Plank at, sec, at safety. Yeah, they bring it. Hand off. They go with the reverse again. Here comes Mosley. Mosley across the 20, out to midfield. She's got some green in front and finally brought down about the 15-yard line. Guys, after all this, after everything we've talked about, the score's 14 to 7. That's it. And Dallas wouldn't be in this position ch chasing after Chicago had they not given the ball away on their own side of the field and allowed it to be very, very, very easy to hand the football off to Tank Pryor. Tommy, going into this, Chicago was nine and a half point favorites. The over under at the win in, in uh, Las Vegas was 47. I hope you took the under. Yeah, if you did, well, in this game, if you went into this game and took it and took the over, then we need to have your head examined. <laughs> need to have your head examined. And this is one of those, this is must drive for Dallas, or they're going to be 0 and 2 and have a hard time making the playoffs. And it's already this early in the season. Hand off, here we go. Oh. Again, what a tackle! Down about the 12 yard line. What an absolutely terrific tackle. Oh my goodness. Every week we see a hit or 12 like this. You're gonna run straight up, nice job. Please tell me that's not Deborah Poles again. Yes, it is. And Danielle Monet there, there as well. If, if there's been a bit of, a, we've seen Hawkins on the defense for Dallas, but I'm gonna tell you what, Deborah Poles will knock you out and been doing it. Tommy, we mentioned next week's game again, the charm and the Philadelphia passion. What I was gonna say is, Crystal Gray, remember last year her for the New York oh, yeah. Majesty? Terrific quarterback she, and a great defensive player, That's too. exactly right. Well, she will be running the show for the Baltimore Charm. And I know I got a Facebook from somebody talking about how excited they were to watch the Charm play. Well, you're going to get your chance next week you watch them dominate. But You're on Facebook. You know what, Tommy? I That's resisted. Scary but you thought. know what? I did, no, I, you know what? It's, I use a lot of it for, to, to promote stuff like this. Right, right, and, I, and, right. and people I haven't seen in 30 years that don't want to see me. But <laughs> I stayed away from it other than about the last six months, and I finally got on it. Here's a hand up. Oh, down nice. Inside the five to about the three yard line. Great job of clock management. I think that's Lori Wright. Yes, it is. Number 20 on the carry. I love the way now Dallas is the best driver there of their night. Oh, best yeah. driver of their night. Good job with 249. You're down by seven. You see Linda Brenner, a great leader in this league, getting this team ready to go. Oh, the nice quick up to the line of scrimmage. Got the whole offensive bunch set here trying to offset Chicago. Roll to the right side, and that is going to be a drop and a loss on the play. Can I take you back to two particular drives in this game? Yeah. A couple drives ago when Dallas got in long yardage position and gave the ball to Chicago on their own 11, with only 11 yards prior, got the play right. and ran it in. Remember on the first drive of this, of this game, Tommy? Not the half, first drive of the game. Dallas comes down here in the red zone. What Chicago do? Held them on four downs. Absolutely, yep. So this is defense, defense, defense. In a 14-7 game, Dallas's touchdown was scored on defense, and then field position has allowed Chicago to put it in. We're about to find out just how, with two minutes to go in the game, how good Chicago's defense is again. Baltimore at Philly next week. That's our big one. And then Tampa at Orlando the week after that. We go east for a couple weeks here in the LFL. 
Chicago looking for another big goal line stand for them two minutes to go. And if you want a leader, this is the best one in the league at quarterback in Linda Brenner. Brenner comes around the outside on the run. Nowhere to go whatsoever. Another terrific tackle. Great job. Shannon Renee. Chicago reads well and finishes, yes. Sean. I, I haven't seen a better as far as a group. Now, yeah. we see Hawkins, a really good tackler for Dallas. In, in this league this year, I've never seen a group of better individual tackles in the open field. You saw Shannon Renee there. Nice job. We saw Moyne make a tackle earlier. Deborah Poles, their linebacker inside, has made about five unassisted tackles in this game. Really, really good in the open field. At third down now in goal for Dallas trying and to score. Dallas has got to throw it. Brenner fades back under pressure, steps up, throws, and it's intercepted. Furr has got it, and now she just goes down to one knee. With a minute 15 left, Chicago looks to put this baby away. Tom, Heather Furr is a rookie. Now, how many times do you see a rookie play smart football like that? Intercept the ball at the goal line, start to come out, see a bunch of Dallas players around, get down on one knee so you can kill the clock. Instead of risk running around and trying to make something happen and be a ball hero. Back to way. Yes, and give Dallas another shot, because you don't want to give Linda Brenner too many chances. No, exactly. Great job. Now that's the second goal line stand for Chicago. One now, this one on a turnover, the other one on downs. Field position has been monumental in this game, and Chicago has won the field position back. Gee, and Sean, where would you guess the ball is going to go on this play? I would put, I would actually put Tank Pryor in the Wildcat and let her carry the there football. There she is. There she is. You it's don't, you coming. You don't want to risk the exchange. Nope, Hand it's it coming. Yep. The Tank has started up, and here she goes. She's to the five, across the ten. Look out! She's out near midfield. Tasha the Tank Pryor is a one-woman gang for the Chicago Blitz. Now get under this. Great job. Like I said, you don't want to risk the exchange between a rookie quarterback and a running back, so you put her in the gun Arm and tackles. allow her to do it right Arm now. Tackle. Now get no. under center, kneel down, put your quarterback in, and let Stacy Jarrett now, the rookie quarterback who made a great throw to Pulse for the touchdown last drive, you kneel down on one knee, you end this football game, you don't risk exchange, and there you go. They love to dance now. What do you think they're going to oh, be doing yeah. after the game, Tommy? Absolutely. A minute seven left, and Chicago up 14 to seven. And, you know, people are going to maybe just see the score online, whatever, in LFL.com, LFLUS.com, I'm yep. sorry. Won't realize what a terrific, exciting football game this was. Oh, my goodness. Now, now Dallas is in a bad unless some ball laid on the ground or something crazy happens. Dallas is in trouble, Tommy, 0-2. Oh, yeah. And their next game, they got to go to Los Angeles. And Chicago looks just like Chicago, physical and defense. Fake the handoff. Jarrett's going to keep it. Comes around the right side, and she gets down to about the 17-yard line. And the clock continues to run. What do you think about this rookie, Stacy Jarrett? Upgraded pass game. We'll work on the accuracy, but Tommy, when she made some throws now, like the touchdown, she's not messing around. That ball comes out of her hand quick. Now. And Ellie Cartabiano was a smart quarterback, and in the semifinals, really had a terrific game last year. But this is now a team in Chicago. Dual threat. You know who the star is, but you know that Jarrett can play football. Yeah, I got Michael Jordan. Now I just added a little bit of Scotty Pippen around. <laughs> well, let's not go overboard. There's Mike there. There's Tasha. 115 yards, eight and a half per carry. And now she's going to throw it. And does, and it's caught. Down to about the 10, still on her feet to about the 7. Chicago threw the football. Uh, I don't understand it. But you know what? Maybe it's just to say, hey, rookie quarterback, we believe in you. We believe in you. Now, if it was me, I don't believe that much. <laughs> it's complete to pull. Now seven. get under center and, and kneel down and yep. end the football game and forget it. But wow. nice job by both teams. Physical, hard-fought game. Hand it to Pryor or hold on to yourself. There he goes, the quarterback. One knee in Chicago is going to come out of here and get a win. And a big one at home over Dallas. And Chicago sends a little message. You're coming here. Yeah, and you asked if she could rush for 100 yards. You are facing a tank. Yes, and a tank and a whole artillery factory. There you go, Tommy. Look at that. And most of those care about 98% of the offense well, went right through prior. 115 of 118 rushing yards. Yes. How strong is that? And a good win for the rookie, Stacy Jarrett. Both coaching staffs do a nice job, but I'm so impressed with the way they run it, and now they can throw it. And now you got San Diego, L.A., and Chicago all 1-0. and Dallas 0-2 in trouble. Seattle 0-1 still got some time. Great game. We'll see you next week. Baltimore at Philly Friday night, then Tampa at Orlando. Good night, everybody.